Hey guys, so we have quite a few things from the detox market to go over today that I'm really excited to share with you. I've got a brand review, or like a partial brand review um, that I've been testing out for the last few months. I think since about February um, I've been testing them. And then I've got the detox market box for June for you guys um, that I just received in the mail so I wanted to go over that with you. And then a special gift with purchased bundle that the detox market is featuring starting today. I'm going to post this video on the day that it launches and it is only available this weekend. Um, so if you have been wanting to make a big purchase, now is the time. Um, I will go over the gift with bundle last. So I'm going to do it in the order that we just talked about. So I have got um, a few products from a brand that I've been trying um, that the detox market sent me I think it was either late January or like early February. So I've been playing with them for the last like four months. Um, they're from the brand Radice, which is a Italian brand. So they're a handmade um, brand in Italy. I am I was actually excited about testing this brand out because I don't personally know of a lot of Italian brands. There might be some that I'm just not, I just don't even know are Italian. Um, I know there's, we've seen some Spanish brands and um, some other brands, German brands, but I don't really know that many Italian brands. And if you guys don't actually know, I don't know if I've shared this or not, I'm actually half Italian. Um, my mom's side is full Italian, so my mom's full Italian, my grandparents were from, or were Italian. I think my, my I know my grandma was born in um, America. Her mom was born in Italy though, but she was shipped off to America at a very young age. I think my grandfather was born in Sicily. I don't really know, like family history is very spotty on that side of the family um, and my grandparents didn't really talk about it because it's sort of sort of not a good history. But I'm actually half Italian so from my mom's side I'm half Italian and then my dad is, I'm basically a mutt um, on my dad's side. So my dad has got like Cherokee Indian, there's you know English, there's a lot of English, there's a lot of, um, there's German and Irish, there's a lot of European um, on my dad's side, but we're sort of like a mutt. We sort of come from all over on that side. So um, I'm a mutt. Oliver is even more of a mutt than I am because he's got a little bit of Hispanic in him. Anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> uh, but I, I just didn't know if I'd ever actually shared any sort of like family history or lineage or anything like that with you guys. But I am half Italian, so I do um, get really connected to like Italian brands or things that are Italian or from Italy. I went on a three week trip to Italy after I graduated from college and it was the most amazing experience. I loved Italy. I loved Milan. I loved Rome. It was just, it was the greatest trip of my life. I, it was such a good time. Um, so when they told me that they had a brand from Italy that they were interested, they wanted to know if I was interested in testing out, I was like, heck yeah. Um, I want to try more Italian skincare and I definitely need to go find out if there are other Italian brands out there but for now this is what we've got. We've got the Radice brand um, made in Italy. They're an organic. Um, they do have a lot of vegan products. I think three of the products that I have are vegan. Um, one is not and then I do know they have one other product that I didn't get to try. Um, that's also it does have honey in it um, but the, the products are mostly vegan which is great too. So I've got four different products like I said. I have the black cumin cleansing milk um, which is lavender black cumin oil um, they combine to nourish and remove dirt and impurities I've also got the black currant facial cream which is sort of like a moisturizer but it has such a different consistency and texture than any other like facial moisturizer that I've ever tried it's almost like it's very serum like because it's like liquidy I've also got the orange blossom gel mask which is just like a nice soothing cooling mask. It kind of looks like that three minute flash mask um, that was actually in the Art of Organics box for this month, but it's very, very different. It's got different properties, different ingredients. They're, they don't do the same thing, but it's got that sort of same like gel-like consistency. Uh, I really like it. And then the last one that I've got is the Rose of Castile Eye Contour. So just like an eye cream. So um, I'm really really enjoying all of the products that I've gotten to try and I really want to try they I think they have a couple of others I know the detox the, the detox market carries a few more of their products they have another mask another moisturizer and then a toner um, I also think that there are a few other products that Radice makes um, but the detox market doesn't sell the detox market does sort of sell um, they don't sell full lines of a lot of brands. You'll very often find that they only sell a few products from specific brands and they don't sell the whole line. 
Um, but they do sell the majority of the products from Radice, and they sell the really good ones, at least in my opinion. So the Black Cumin Cleansing Milk is a vegan formula. The only one that's not vegan is the eye cream. So I'll talk about the vegan ones first so I don't have to repeat what's vegan and what's not. Um, but the it's a cleansing milk, so it's got like a milky consistency. It doesn't foam, it doesn't lather. It's very gentle, um, but also it's really great at cleansing the skin. I, I'm really, really liking this as a gentle like nighttime cleanser after I've gone in with an oil cleanse to remove makeup or something like that. It smells, that's what I, I love about these products too, is they all just smell incredible. This one does have a very high lavender smell. The ingredients on it are pretty minimal. There's also some aloe, there's some sunflower seed oil, there's the preservative, um, jojoba seed oil, shea butter, black cumin seed oil, hemp, hazel seed, lavender, um, there's more lavender, there's lavender flower water and there's lavender flower oil, um, lemon peel oil, spirulina powder. So it's got pretty minimal ingredients for a cleanser but it's very nourishing. It doesn't strip the skin. Um, black cumin seed oil is great for people who've got acne prone skin so this is, makes a great nighttime cleanser if you've got acne. And it really just is sort of like a nice cleanser, um, leaves your skin soft and clean without being stripped or dry. I really like it. I tend to not use a lot of milky cleansers but in terms of milky cleansers this is probably my favorite one that I've tried. Um, it is I would say that if you're familiar with the Kahina uh, cleanser, it's sort of like that, only I like this one a lot more than the Kahina cleanser actually. It smells better, it works better for me, I just like the feeling of it on my skin better. Um, but if you've tried that one, you probably would like this one a lot more. So that's the cleanser. The cleansing milk is $55 over on the Detox Market, and I'll, I'll link everything down below as well. So then we've also got the Orange Blossom Gel Mask, which is a refreshing, cooling, moisturizing, and calming gel that helps soothe dry, irritated skin. And I also really, really love this one. It's got such a nice cooling formula. I used this a couple of times, like after I'd been out in the sun during the day. I went outside and like played with my kid in the backyard, and of course it's like 110 degrees every day here, so you know your skin is feeling like parched and red and you want something to cool it down. Stick this in the fridge and like throw it on for like 10 minutes um, before you get in the shower and it just cools everything down. It's got such a nice gel texture. It smells really good. So this has got aloe, bitter orange, orange flower extract, um, calendula, rose, so it's a very, again, it's another minimal sort of formula that's just beautiful, great, especially for the summer and you're looking for something to like cool you off, throw it in the refrigerator before you put it on and it really does like really refresh the skin, cools it down, moisturizes it, calms it from redness or heat or irritation. Um, I don't have dry skin so I don't really know how much it would work on like dry skin but I feel like it would be pretty amazing for dry skin. The other mask that they have that I haven't tried is the Honey and St. John's Wart Mask. Um, that's more of an intensive treatment to regenerate skin um, that's dry sensitive or been affected by environmental stressors. That's actually the one that I was hoping to try. It does have honey in it so it's like rich in vitamins and enzymes. Um, it can also be used as a night cream and a deep hydration mask so I'm hoping to try that one at some point. It just sounds so beautiful. Probably my favorite product from the ones that I've tried is the Black Current Facial Cream. This is, like I said, it's a very interesting um, face cream because it has such a different consistency of like, if you think of a traditional moisturizer, you think it's, you know, thick and um, like sort of like fluffy. This one is like a serum. You can see it dripping down my, my the back of my hand there. Ah, don't want to lose it. But it is like a serum. It's like a liquidy consistency. And I, I was afraid when I had gotten it that it had melted or something and it wasn't, this wasn't the way that it was supposed to be. Um, but it is. It's actually more of like a serum-like consistency. So you can use it day or night. I've used it both day and night and it works great for both. It's highly moisturizing. It's it's moisturizing enough to use at night and I do mix it with oils and because of its serum like consistency it actually mixes with oils really really well. It becomes like this great emulsion. Um, I in, During the daytime I'll mix like three oils uh, or three drops of an oil and then at nighttime I'll mix like five to six and it just it does a really good job of mixing with the oil. It's ideal for normal dry sensitive or reddened skin. Um, sometimes my skin can be normal, most of the time it's acne prone. Right now I'm dealing with a pretty 
intense breakout um, that hopefully my makeup is hiding pretty well. Uh, <laughs> I went to bed last night and I was like, oh my god, please let my skin heal a little bit. <laughs> um, but it is red all the time too, so it works great for that. So it's got the black currant oil, aloe, sweet almond, shea butter, sunflower, um, apricot, jojoba, vitamin E, cocoa seed butter, Roman chamomile, and then I'm guessing just normal chamomile, <laughs> um, and then calendula. And this again also smells incredible. I love the scent of this. I don't think I've ever had anything that's like black currant, but this just smells so good. I really, really like this. This is, you know, one of my favorite facial creams because it's, it is so different. Um, but it does work so well with like oils and things so you can customize it still but it works great to moisturize it keeps my skin moisturized all day or all night it definitely is my favorite of the four that i've tried but really I, i've loved all of them so much and they all have become sort of like favorite products so the last one is the rose of castile eye contour it's a nourishing eye cream enriched with rose of castile oil so it is like a light cream like consistency blends in very easily they say it relieves fine lines and moisturizes the eye area enriched with rosehip oil to naturally soothe and relieve dryness it makes your skin instantly appear smoother and more radiant um, it's gentle for day or night includes antioxidant ingredients for extra care to the eye contour area um, so again it's got aloe hemp avocado shea sesame jojoba sunflower um, corn oil, sweet almond, vitamin E, lavender, St. John's wort, it does have beeswax and honey in it, rose, in a couple of different forms, flower water and flower oil. So it does have a very light, a very light rose scent. It's not very strong in rose. It is very nice. I've really been enjoying it underneath my eyes. I haven't noticed any sort of like fine line reduction um, while using this, but it is, if you're looking for just sort of like a nourishing, moisturizing eye cream, I really like it for that purpose. I don't, when I'm looking for something that's more like fine line reducing, this isn't one that I've reached for. Um, I have others that have done sort of like a better job, but um, I really, it, it does keep the eye area really, really moisturized. Or if you've got really dry under eye area um that one would be a good one to check out because it is a cream which i prefer creams and serums to any other i don't like oils so much there are a couple of formulas that i like but i do prefer creams and serums much more because i feel they're more hydrating and moisturizing to the under eye area than um oils are so much so those are all my thoughts on the radice products um i definitely am going to keep playing with them because i'm really really liking all of them the cleansing milk and the facial cream especially really really great so if you're looking for something sort of like new to try you want to try some italian skincare um i really really like this line and i definitely want to give the rest of the try of the line uh the rest of the line a try at some point because the products are beautiful the scents of all of them are really beautiful and i, I just like sort of obsessed with them so um give those a check out because i don't think i've seen them much of anywhere else and i hadn't heard of them before the detox market um reached out to me to reached out to me about trying them and I think they're a beautiful brand and definitely sort of like under the radar and um, yeah give them a check out check them out on Instagram see what other products they got um, so then let's get into the detox market box I'm not going to talk about it too much because I haven't tried the majority of these products or I guess half I haven't tried half the products I have tried two of them so the detox market for June is featuring a uh, province apothecary um, we've got four products um, three two of which are full size and two which are sort of like a deluxe size. They have the invigorating and balancing toner with rose and geranium. Then they have the moisturizing cleanser and makeup remover with avocado and raspberry, so a oil cleanser and a toner. Then we've got the clear skin advanced spot treatment with turmeric and calendula, which I have tried in the past. I have used up, um, about one of these sizes before. It was featured in Art of Organics box. And then the Healing Eczema Balm with Zinc and Calendula, which I've actually been using since I got the box. I haven't tried any of the other products from the box, but I did. I have been giving this one a try because I've got this really persistent eczema patch here. And I've been using all sorts of creams and serums and hyaluronic acid and things on it to try to like get rid of it. Still don't know what the cause of it is. I don't know if it's food related or stress related or hormone related. I have no idea. It's been hanging on for the last almost a year at this point and it's it's gotten pretty bad. Right now it's actually doing okay, but I've got like this area right here that just won't 
will not go away. I have had it up here, but it's pretty calm for the most part on that part of my arm, but down here it's still like flaky and dry and scaly. So when I saw that there was a healing eczema, healing eczema bomb coming in it, I got pretty excited. Um, Province Apothecary, I'm going to be honest, Province Apothecary is not a brand that really excites me. I don't know if it's their packaging or if it's just the product seems sort of basic to me, but every time I see Province Apothecary sort of like featured anywhere, I'm just sort of like, meh. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't, I, like I said, I really, I don't know what it is again, um, but I actually, I haven't tried a lot of their products. The only product of theirs that I've really tried is the Clear Skin Advanced Spot Treatment, because like I said, it was in a previous Art of Organics box, and um, I have used up one, one of these whole things. I will say that the spot treatment is not my favorite spot treatment. It didn't, it's not the most effective on me, um, so I tend to use this more at night. I definitely don't use this during the day because the, the turmeric can sort of make your skin a little bit orange. So I use this, I do use this at night, or I did use it at night when I used it. Um, but I have tried other spot treatments that for me work a lot better. I know that this works really well for a lot of people, but for me it's just sort of so-so. Um, but the other two products in here I haven't tried, um, but I am... You know, I'm interested to give them a try to see maybe if my opinions are just unjust or maybe if it is just the packaging. I don't know, because their packaging isn't that exciting to me. It's just, you know, they got blue bottles. It is nice and dark, so it keeps the product protected in here, but it's it just seems sort of, it's just not exciting to me. Um, like this, I don't know. This speaks to me a lot more than like this does. I don't know if it's just the black glass or if it's the label. I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, if you're looking for a new toner and a new cleansing oil, this definitely would be a good box to try because they are, they are good formulas. Um, the, 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 the ingredients in them are nice. So like the cleansing oil, for instance, um, a sunflower seed oil base. It's also got jojoba oil, avocado, vitamin E, evening primrose, raspberry, which actually is good for acne, um, bergamot. So I mean, it is a nice formula. And the, uh, the toner is, let's see, water, rose water, lavender water, um, there is rosemary, geranium, clary sage, patchouli, frankincense. So, I mean, this probably is a really nice toner as well. I haven't opened them, I haven't tried either one, but I did want to give this box a mention. Um, since it is available and I did just get it in the mail. I did pay for the detox, I do pay for the detox market box myself. They have sent me a couple, um, but they don't send me them with any regularity. So I do pay for that box myself. But the one product that I am pretty excited about um, is the eczema bomb. And I, ha I do think that it's actually making a difference. Um, I've heard that zinc is a really good ingredient for eczema and it's the one sort of treatment that I haven't tried yet for my eczema. So I was really excited to see a zinc treatment in here. So it is white. Um, and it isn't moisturizing at all. If you have an eczema patch that's especially dry, um, use a layer of the zinc on it and then go over it with sort of like maybe a healing balm, like the, the Laurel Healing Balm or like the uh, Holly Beth um, Skin Therapy Balm or something like that. Go over it to keep it moisturized so it's like more soft. Um, because I've only been using this for the last couple of days because I'm reapplying it pretty often. I'm leaving it at my desk and I'm applying it um, multiple times throughout the day when I notice my skin's getting a little bit scaly again and I feel like it's starting to make a difference. So, I mean, if this bo if this product um, does help with my eczema, then even that will make this box have made, have made this box worth it for me because I have just been struggling so bad with this eczema on my hand. I do have it on other parts of my body, but they're not um, in places that... Um, they're, they're not, 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 they're not that place, they're not in places that show when I don't have clothes on, or when I have clothes on. I do have a couple of patches, like, back behind here. Um, I do have a patch on my arm back here. It's pretty tiny, though. That one's gone over, gone down a little bit. I do have a patch on my butt. Why I have eczema on my butt, I have no idea. Um, but this is the one that causes me the most grief because it's right in this area. It itches a lot. Um, but yeah, this has been, I feel like this has definitely been helping with the itching. I haven't even itched it in the last couple of days. Um, and when I do keep it, I do keep the zinc treatment on, it does sort of help with the itchiness and the scaliness and the redness. So I am pretty excited that this seems to be working. Um, and if it becomes like as much of a miracle worker as I hope it does, I would definitely rebuy this in the bigger size in a heartbeat. This is the smaller size. 
Um, let's see, the smaller size is $19. This is a half ounce. It does come in, I forget what size the, the big one is, but I think the, the big one was around $50. I would definitely rebuy that big one in a heartbeat if it ends up working for me. So if you're into Province Apothecary or you wanna try a new oil cleanser and a toner, um, spot treatment and an eczema bomb, definitely check out the Detox Market box. I'll leave that link down below. Um, they've sold out, I think, of every single box that they've put out so far. So, I mean, if you're interested, I wouldn't wait that long because they seem to be selling out pretty quickly. Okay, now let's get to the most exciting thing. Um, the Detox Market, in my opinion, does the best gift with purchase bundles. Um, I've only received two of them so far. I know that they've had a few, um, they had a couple last year. I think they've, I think this is probably their fourth or fifth bundle. I did go back sort of like, I looked in the internet, I searched to see if I could find some of their past bundles, and I think they did three last year, and this is their second one this year that I could find. Um, but all of their gift with purchase bundles are a phenomenal deal. They include some really, really awesome products. So if you um, know that you have to make a really big purchase, like maybe you have to restock on like a bunch of different things, I would wait <laughs> to get on these detox market bundles. Um, so the one, of course, that I'm telling you about today is available starting today. If you shop the link, um, I'll link the detox market down below. So if you order $190 um, or more of product, so whatever you need to order, um, this will automatically be added to your cart and the bundle the retail value of the bundle is worth $253 So you're getting more product than what you would even be paying for if you added say $190 to your cart um, This is only available um, Through June 18th or until supplies last and these have also sold out every single time detox market has done a bundle They did a bundle in February that I, I think actually they re-brought it back because it sold out so quickly the first time, but then it also sold out super quick the second time. So if you know that you've got a big purchase that you need to make, you've got you know some restocking to do, um, this is the perfect time to do one of these. And they seem to be doing them, I think every three to four months, at least based on um, what I'm seeing in the past. I don't have any inside information and I find out you know when they're about to do the bundle. Um, so definitely if you're in like, <laughs> if you miss this one, um, if in three to four months you've got some like another big purchase definitely hold out and wait to see if the detox market releases another bundle because these are fantastic <laughs> um, I really love the first bundle there was a lot of really great products in it a couple things from the first bundle that I really really loved they had the um, they had a bath oil that was fantastic the goop instant exfoliating facial something like that I really liked that. That was the only group product, goop product I've ever tried, and I was sort of hesitant because it's you know Gwyneth Paltrow. Like, <laughs> I don't really know um, anything about goop, but that product was fantastic. Um, that just that bundle just had a really large amount of great products, and this one is even better, I think. So this bundle, like I said, here's everything. It is a $253 value. There are nine products in here. Most of them are actually full size. Only two of them are travel size. So I'm gonna start, I did try a couple of these things because I did get the bundle a couple of days early. Um, so I did wanna give a couple of them a try so I could tell you my opinions on what was in the bundle. So we've got a shampoo and conditioner set from Graydon. We've got the matcha mint shampoo um, and then the hair smoothie conditioner and detangler. So these are full size products. I'm really, really liking these. I've been using them for the last couple of days when I've washed my hair. The matcha mint smoothie smells like minty vanilla. Um, it's gentle, but it is really effective at cleaning your hair. Um, it's for all hair types. This has been a really great shampoo and I'm really excited to use it. The hair smoothie. Um, is also really great. It has, it's, it's sort of like a green color. Yeah, you can sort of tell. Sort of like a green color. And this one has more of like an herbally scent. It has a, an essential oil blend of parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Every time I read that, I sing that, so I just felt like singing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one has more of like an herbally scent. And it even works great on kids. I've been using this on Oliver because his hair has gotten super long and it like gets really tangly. So I have had to start using a conditioner on his hair and that one works great on his hair. 
smells really good. It's not, you know, super girly. So when Gilbert smells his head, he's not like, oh my God, he smells like a girl. Sometimes we have that fight. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that one is really great. Really, really detangling and smoothing. I don't even need to use um, a leave-in conditioner afterwards, like a spray, which I usually do. That's great. Um, so we've also got the Otisite Black Mint Cleanser, which since it's launched, I've been really, really interested in trying this product. Um, and I almost bought it, I think like a week before I got contacted about the bundle and I was like, good thing I didn't buy that. <laughs> um, but this has activated charcoal and rosul clay, peppermint and tea tree. Um, it has a gentle apple wash, so it's a creamy foam derived from apple amino acid. So it is sort of like a cooling, um, like a foamy, minty gel, um, but it works really well. I've tried this a couple of times. I really, really like it. Um, I will definitely be putting together a cleanser review in the coming weeks or months or whenever I get around to it, but I put some stuff aside to do a, a cleanser review. Um, but I really like this. If you've been interested in trying it, it's in the bundle. A couple things that I have not tried um, that are full-size products that are in here are a, it's a, is the Bio, Brines, Bio Bronzer Powder in Natural Tan from Well People, and then the Kula Mineral Sunscreen Sport in Citrus Mimosa. So full-size bronzer. Um, this does have pearl powder in it. And then a sunscreen from Kula. This is a titanium dioxide and zinc based um, sunscreen and I'm actually pretty excited about the ingredients. Um, there's some really good stuff in here. If not yet, I'll probably take this with me on my vacation to Florida. This would be like sort of perfect for that. Um, so yeah, SPF 30 sports sunscreen is also in there. We got a couple of makeup products. There's the RMS um, eye polish in Lunar, right? Yeah, Lunar, um, which is a... <laughs> like a like a white like a bright it's like a light champagne sort of color um that is really pretty i have worn that on my eyes it does crease um like nothing else if you don't put anything underneath it but it is super pretty you can also use it as a highlighter um another exciting thing in here is the fit glow beauty lip color serum in bliss it is what i have on my lips today i wore this especially because i knew it was going to be in the bundle um, so that is great if you've been interested in trying one of those. And then a couple of smaller size products are the Herbivore Jasmine Green Tea uh, Jasmine Water Balancing Toner, which is really refreshing. It's got a pretty nice mist on it. It's got a cool color too. This is supposed to be really great for people with oily skin. Um, it's got green tea and white willow bark, aloe vera and witch hazel, which are all great for acne. Um, acne prone skin so like you've got the gel cleanser and then the toner it's great for acne prone skin and then the last thing in here is the beauty chef antioxidant inter beauty inner beauty boost which is a bio fermented probiotic elixir with prebiotics enzymes papaya pomegranate and green tea extract and you just mix this in with like juice or water um, yeah you mix one tablespoon with water and then drink one to two times a day there are six servings in here, it says. So there's six tablespoons in here, apparently. Um, I have not tried this, but I'm definitely interested in trying the, some, of these, some of these supplements from the Beauty Chef, because they do sound, they do sound pretty great. So yeah, that's everything that's in the bundle. There's everything sort of like lined up. It's a pretty sweet bundle, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, these are gonna sell out extremely quickly. So if you know that you've got a big purchase that you wanna make, Definitely do it first thing, like when you see this video, go and go shop because it's gonna be gone before you know it. These sell out insanely quickly, like I said. So that's everything that I've got for you today. I've got the little Radice um, review um, of a few of their products, the June uh, Province Cup Apothecary Detox Box, and then the Gift with Purchase Bundle starting that is starting today and will run through the weekend or until supplies last. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you plan on picking anything up from the detox market this weekend to take advantage of the Gift with Purchase. Um, I definitely am interested in knowing <laughs> what everybody does for shopping, um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you plan on trying Radice too. This would actually be a good time to try the Radice line. Throw a couple of those things in the cart, you get the bundle, you're good to go. The only thing that does not apply to the bundle is the detox market box. So if you throw the detox market box in your cart as well, that does not count towards the $190 um, minimum needed for the gift with purchase bundle. So just know that. So yes, I am going to go now. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.